All right. We want to find the value of X knowing that the two horizontal lines are parallel. Here's figure four. We notice they're on the side. We don't have to do small triangle to big triangle. We can just do the side splitter theorem, which tells us, hey, X over three will have to equal the eight over six. We cross multiply. I get six X equals 24. Six times X equals the eight times three. So 6x equals 24 divided by 6. You have x right here. Must be a 4 on that side. Okay. Now, normally we set up a hey, small triangle similar to the large triangle and then set up the proportion. But we don't have to do that here, which makes it so much easier. Figure 5, they're on the side again. So I can do it. Do the side splitter. 8 over x, 8x equals 6 times 7, 42, divide by 8. 8 goes in there 5 times 2 left over, which will make 5 and 1 fourth, or 5.25. So this is 5 and 1 fourth right here for that measurement of that side. And let's get one more in there, figure 6. Another side splitter. Surprise, surprise. Equals 6 over 6. Well, 5 over what's going to equal 1? 5. But... You're probably so quick to do the problem. You get that, and then you divide, and you're like, oh, yeah, obviously it was 5, because 5 over 5 would be the same as 6 over 6. So the answer for number figure 6, x is 5.